Hello everyone. I am your online Sunday school teacher. I'm Sister Hazel Wolford and I welcome each and every person to the Sunday school class this morning. The topic for today is Hagar and the key verse is God heard a voice crying and the angel of God called to Hagar from heaven and said to her, what is the matter, Hagar? Do not be afraid. God has heard the boy crying as he lies there. Good morning. Thank you so much for being a part of the class this morning. Let's go to prayer. Our God and Heavenly Father, this morning we pray for our foreign students in the Ukraine and Russia, pregnant women, female pastors, administrators, healthcare workers, missionaries, politicians, educators, and caregivers, the safety of the pilots, boat owners, captains, taxi drivers, bus drivers, and commuters in the air, on the rivers, and roads of Guyana. And we pray, dear God, this morning for all women events that will be held during this month. The key passage for today is taken from Genesis 16. In fact, most of the lesson will be based on Genesis 16. I welcome the online community this morning, the disabled community, as well as those of you who are visiting for the very first time, must have clicked and found our channel. And so we give God thanks and praise that you are here with us. In the lesson this morning, we look at part one of the lesson outline. Who was Hagar? Abraham, the Hebrew, had married his niece Sarai. In fact, Abraham and his brother had married their nieces. God had called them out of Haran to Canaan. And you find this information in Genesis 12, 1 to 9. When there was a famine in Canaan, Abraham and Sarah moved to Egypt, and you find that information in Genesis 12.10. The Egyptians were known to seize the wives of the migrants. When they were about to enter Egypt, Abraham had told Sarah to refrain from telling the Egyptians that she was his wife, for fear that they might kill him and abduct her, and to say that she was his sister. And you'll find that information in Genesis 12, 11 to 13. Sarai was extremely beautiful and she attracted the attention of Pharaoh and his officials. Hence, Pharaoh had attempted to make Sarah his wife after she had said that she was a sister of Abraham. Good morning. Thank you for coming. Uh, the Lord sent plagues to the household of Abraham. Good morning, Sister Allison. It's a blessing having you here on, in the class this morning. May Almighty God bless you, and I pray you have a great day. Uh, he sent away Abraham and Sarah from his country. He gave them livestock, camels, donkeys, female, and male slaves. And you find this information in Genesis 12, 16. In fact, it has been suggested by scholars that Hagar was the Yes, now Pharaoh had attempted to make Sarah his wife after she had said that she was a sister of Abraham. The Lord sent plagues to his household and Pharaoh almost died. He sent away Abraham and Sarah from his country. He gave them livestock, camels, donkeys, female, female and male slaves. And you find this information in 1216. In fact, Abraham became very wealthy, he and his nephew Lot. Hagar was the Egyptian slave who Sarah gave to Abraham. 
And when you read Genesis 16, Genesis 21, 9 to 17, Genesis 25, 12, and Galatians 4, 24 and 25, you will find that more information on uh, Hagar and uh, Abraham and Sarah. Sarah was beautiful. Sarah was wealthy. But Sarah was barren. And God had promised Abraham and Sarah that he would bless them with a child of promise. The child will be from Abraham and Sarah. For Sarah, that seemed impossible. In fact, she was past childbearing age and she could not understand how she would be able to have a child. Now, God, if you look at Genesis 15, 1 to 4, you will read that God has established a covenant with Abraham that he and Abraham, Sarah would have a son who would be the father of a great nation. But as I said, Sarah was barren. In fact, she said that God did not uh, bless her womb with a child. And of course, I'd like you to read the entire chapter, Genesis 16. But when they received the word from God that they would be blessed with a child who will become, and Abraham would then be the father of great nations, more people than he could ever count, like the numerous stars in the sky, they decided that they would take Hagar, the maid, the female slave, and let her have the child for them. So, a Hagar and Abraham slept, and Hagar conceived a child. The child was Ishmael. According to the custom and culture of the day, when a wife was barren, she would give her slave to her husband uh, for her to conceive. At the time of the birth of the child, the female slave would be placed on the lap of the wife and birth the child. So Hagar gave birth to Ishmael and what happened was that the child then became a child of Sarah and Abra of Abraham. When Let's go back a bit. When Hagar found out that she was pregnant, she became very disrespectful to Sarah. So disrespectful that Sarah threw her out of the house. And you will read this in Genesis 16, verses 4 to 11. Well, Abraham slept with Hagar, and she conceived. When she knew that she was pregnant, she began to despise her mistress. Word of God is very, very clear on the matter of the relationship between master and servant. And here is a typical example of what happened. No, she, Sarah mistreated Hagar so much that Hagar ran away from the home. She couldn't take the uh, punishment any longer. And the word of God says the angel of the Lord found Hagar and told her to return and submit to Sarah. Okay? And of course, she returned and she submitted. She gave birth to Ishmael. But God kept his word, and Sarah gave birth to a boy child. His name was Isaac, and you find this in Genesis 21, 1 to 9. Now, when the child was weaned, which would have been when he was about four years old, and Ishmael would have been about 16, 17 years old, uh, Abraham decided to have a weaning ceremony for the child. And Hagar and Ishmael mocked him, mocked the father, and became very cruel to Isaac. Sarah once again expelled them from the home, and Hagar wandered in the wilderness. Because Sarah said that Ishmael was not the legal heir. The key word here is heir, was not the legal heir of Abraham. The legal heir of Abraham was her son, Isaac. And you can read more of this in Genesis 21, 
10 to 21. What are the key words for today? Abraham, Sarah, Hagar, born woman or female slave, Ishmael, Isaac, Archer, and Nation. All right, and you'll find this in your notes on, on the page. What does the lesson teach us today? God teaches us to wait on his time. He has the right time when he will be able to bring forward the promise that he has for us. He has his timetable and he expects us to live by his timetable and to wait on him. Next, we have a responsibility to submit to the authority figures, whether they are your parents, whether you are an adult and you are working in an office, you might be more educated than your supervisor, but you have a right to submit to the supervisor, okay? Prefix in the class, submit to the prefix, be obedient, be obedient to your teachers. And of course, as adults, be obedient to bosses. You know, when Paul sent back Onesimus to his master, he said that he will pay for what the, uh, Onesimus had stolen. Hagar was a slave in the house of Abraham and, uh, uh, and Sarah. And while it was a culture and a custom, for them, for women to take their slaves, their maid servants, and have them be impregnated on their behalf if they were barren. It did not necessarily mean that the servant became the first wife. When I was a child growing up, you'd sometimes hear Christian women saying, it seems as if this man wants to have wife. It seems as if this man wants to have a sexual relationship in order to provide me with a job or whatever. Whatever is the situation, remember that you are secondary and you have to submit. Once again, this morning, I thank Sister Allison for attending the class and all of those who you are attending the class. I also want to thank those of you who are going to be watching the recording. And I pray that Almighty God will give you a blessed week. This week, we've been blessed enough to have our 2022 virtuous woman, who is Sister Olive Monroe. She is certainly a blessing in the lives of many, including myself. And so for my darling Yvonne Smith, Army officer. Yes, she knows a lot about submissing and uh it's certainly a blessing to have her here with uh in the class this morning let's close in prayer this morning oh god and heavenly father this morning we give you thanks and praise for bringing us to the class and we thank you for all the women who are present here this morning we also thank you for the class for the youths as well have your way in our lives this week in jesus name amen god bless you have a great week good morning